congratulations on the film. Thank I've you. I really enjoyed it and an amazing performance. Thank you so much. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the film and about, about your character, Kate Hannah? Sure. Um, Kate is a first grade school teacher. She is married, she's fun, she's smart, she's got a lot going for her, but she's also an alcoholic. Um, and her husband is possibly an alcoholic as well. He's definitely a heavy drinker. Um, and throughout the course of the film, she sort of realizes that she's an alcoholic and she realizes that she needs to get help um, and she starts doing that, but her husband doesn't really feel the same and he doesn't think he needs help and, and he secretly kind of wishes she would stay the fun drunk girl that she was when he met her. So it's, it's kind of about her and, and her struggle to get sober and her struggle to keep her marriage going. I mean, the two aren't mutually exclusive, but would you say that the film's more about almost the struggle of recovery than the struggle of alcoholism? Yeah, um, it's... I think even almost more about relationships or the struggle to be in a marriage, you know, and I think the alcoholism aspect of it is almost secondary to that. Um, but above all, you know, um, even the recovery, I think more so than the alcohol alcoholism as well, yeah. And what kind of uh, preparation or research did you have to do into the role? Uh, I, I had to do a lot. Um, I started by going to a lot of AA meetings. Um, and I was lucky because our, our co-writer, Susan, is in AA, and um, so I could go with her. And I always go to open meetings, so always meetings that I was welcomed into. And um, that was amazing, just to, to hear so many different stories and so many different types of people and different types of struggles. And um, it was kind of my first step into realizing how I could relate to this character. And then from there, I just did a lot of talking with James for several weeks about her backstory and, and about my own life and, and the ways that we could kind of meld the two of them to kind of make me and her one person, which was um, a really kind of fun experiment. <laughs> and which was the more difficult side of things, the playing the recovering alcoholic or playing the alcoholic at the start? Um, I'd it's say tough playing drunk. Yeah, playing drunk is one of the scariest things. So that was definitely going into it. Um, some of the stuff I was most afraid of just because I was so scared of getting it terribly, terribly wrong. Um, but ultimately, you know, we were really prepared going into it. So once we were there, it all kind of fell into place. And, and it was challenging, but in a way that was really fun. You know, it didn't really feel like, oh, I'm not figuring this out or, oh, this isn't working. It was always just kind of felt like playing. And did you have any, like, performances that you'd looked at that you'd seen from other people about, you know, that... Because it's, yeah. it's notoriously difficult. There's actually... Not right. A huge amount of great performances. I know, and that was, um, I, I didn't want to watch anything for that reason, not because the performances weren't good, but because I just, I knew that in order to, to play it authentically, I couldn't be basing it on trying to, to be like somebody else, and I was afraid if I watched somebody else's performance that I would end up trying to do that, or going, oh, that was a really good moment when they did that, I should try to do that. And then other, and then and then you just lose all the authenticity of it. So, I didn't watch anything. I just kind of um, sort of learned a lot of acting techniques and and sort of figured out my own techniques that worked for me um, that made it feel really real and made it feel less like acting. And you've got a really great sporting cast around you. Did that make things easier? It did. Oh my God, they're incredible and so natural and just so real that every moment just felt. It was so easy to feel like it was really happening. You know, it just um, because they just brought so much humanity. To it. it was it was great. You've got some particularly awkward scenes. Some of Aaron Paul and one one particular one with Nick. Yes. How did you deal with those scenes? Um, they were fun. <laughs> They were fun. I mean, working with Nick Offerman was just like such a blast because he's so hilarious. I mean, the hardest part about that scene was, I think, keeping a straight face, you know, because it's just like, he's so funny. And there was so much improvising that you don't see, you know, because James would just leave the camera rolling. And so that scene would just go on and on and on and on and on. And we'd just be sitting in our aw awkwardness, you know. And um, so it was, it, it was, it was uncomfortable, but, but also hilarious and, and really fun. And so are you getting a, a, a lot more offers now off the back of Smashed? I mean, yes and no. I mean, I guess um, it's a different kind of, of, of offers, which is, is much more the world that I've been trying to be a part of, which is more independent films and things like that. Um, I've been getting a lot of more interesting auditions and just more interesting scripts, at least. I mean, it's not like suddenly I'm like taking over Hollywood or something. Um, but I, sort of what I was hoping to happen was really just to get to work with more people like James and more people that are making small, more intimate films. And, and I feel like that's my career starting to shift that way, which is, is really great. And you're working with James again? Yeah. Yeah, we have a film called The Spectacular Now, which I'm much more of a supporting player in this one, but it was, it was a lot of fun to work with him again. And do you enjoy being able to kind of 
switch between the two to be able to go from a big studio blockbuster to something like this? Yeah, I think that that's ideal, I think, for, for every actor, and that's what I hope to be able to continue to do, because ultimately the, the big blockbuster films, even when they're really great, are still really hard to feel really free when you're doing it, because there's just so many constraints put on you as far as all the money and all the sets and, and everything. Um, it's just a different kind of filmmaking, uh, and doing an independent film is just a really great way to kind of release all the stuff that you need to release when you're when you're working on those bigger films. So you've uh, you've flirted with superhero movies before. Yeah. You did Sky High. Obviously. I did. Yeah. Which uh, which I watched recently again. It's it's really great. It's I really love great. that film. Yeah. It's nice when people discover it. Yeah. Were you tested for Wonder Woman in the old Justice League movie? A long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> and so now we've got Justice League's coming around again. Yeah. And you were linked for a role in Captain America the sequel. Is right. It, do you think? Do you think you you might go back into that world? I mean, I would love to if it was the right part. You know, I mean, that's that's kind of what everything is is about is just finding the right role. And I think especially those kind of movies are such a big commitment. I mean, they're fantastic. But if you find yourself in a role that you don't feel suits you. Um, then you're, you could be playing that role for the rest of your career and, and that wouldn't be the happiest outcome. So for me, I think I'm just, I'm very pragmatic and careful about those things because I want to make sure I make the right choices for myself and not just for the agents or, you know, the, the, the fans or whoever, um, because it's, it's ultimately, you're the one who has to live with it <laughs> you're the choices you make. I was just hoping with the Russo brothers doing Captain America and... Right. Their links to community and gym yeah. that maybe you could team back up again. I know, right? No. I mean, on, to be honest, that was kind of a rumor that I don't know where it came from. <laughs> I, don't really, I honestly don't. Um, but it's great. It's great. You know, people, if, you could, you know. if you could get a villain role with Jim Rash again, that would be amazing. Oh, absolutely. I'd have a blast. That was so much fun. I loved it. Yeah. I'm getting back to Smashed. Um, how do you, do, do you allow yourself to think about all the awards talk surrounding the film? I mean, I try not to because... Um, it's just it's just setting you up for a disappointment ultimately I think, um, but it's so nice you know it's certainly not anything I've heard before so it's it's kind of you can't help but get kind of excited about just hearing that anyone would even say something like that, um, but yeah you have to kind of put it out of your mind because and just really focus on other things because if you start thinking about that I think it just gets weird and just not something you should really spend your time focusing on. Yeah. Well, it's a fantastic performance tonight. No, Thank you so much. With the, uh, the awards if they do come. <laughs> Thank um, you. And thanks a lot for speaking to us. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you.